this segment, I want to briefly go over the concepts and important ideas in doing business presentations. You may have taken a speech or communications class and gone over presentations, but here I want to focus on the important aspects of a business presentation. Always, always in a meeting, introduce yourself. And if it's appropriate, if it's a small meeting and people don't know each other, ask them to introduce each other. Then the outline for any business presentation you give can follow the following three points. Tell them what you're going to tell them. Tell them, then tell them what you told them. For example, in this talk, I'm going to talk about the sales for last year, for 2019. In January, we had a great year for sales. We had we started off great and we're above expectations. Then in February, we were down, March, and so on, so on at the end. So you can see in that last year, although we had an up and down year for sales, in the end, we finished at 10% sales growth above our expectations. I told you what I was going to tell you. I told you, and then I told you what I told you. Plan on three minutes per slide. I'm going to go much faster on these slides. I'm going to let you read them. Um, but you should talk three minutes per slide. That way they don't go too fast. They don't go too slowly. They're at a good pace. If you spend more than three minutes on a slide, people are going to get bored. If you go less than three minutes on the slide, it might go too fast. They might not get it. And here, the good thing with the video is, you can always stop and read it. So that's why I'm going to go a little faster and so you're not sitting here forever listening to me drone on. All right. Make sure each, mess, each slide has a message. What are you trying to get across? And make sure everything on that slide reinforces that. Color's good, but don't rely on it. I talked once to the CEO of Chemitron, and they produced this great presentation for another CEO. They were going to merge with this other company and all this color stuff. They went to present it to their board of directors and their CEO was colorblind. So it's nice, but don't rely on it. Check on it. See if it can print in black and white to see if it looks good and is understandable. Don't use full sentences. Don't make people read your slides. It'll, uh, just too much. Right? Try and eliminate words and start each bullet with the same part of speech. I'm going to give you an example. So here's a slide. Key lessons learned. Spend a little time, maybe pause it here and take a look at this slide. How can you improve on this slide? First thing is start each sentence with the same part of speech. Verbs are really good. So you want to clean that stuff up. So get rid of it. Forecast. Look ahead. Sell. Now I'm using verbs. So that's a lot better. Now what do I do? It's getting better. How do I get rid of words? This is pretty wordy. I've seen people write paragraphs on this slide. Don't do that. But let's look for reducing words. Again, take a look at this slide for a minute and see if there's ways that you can reduce the number of words on this slide. You can take out a lot. Key lessons learned. Get rid of it. Right? Forecast carefully. You can All these are the words that I crossed out. You can speak to. And you should speak to. So it ends up looking like this. Lessons learned. You want to forecast carefully. Why? You want to make sure that you don't have stock out so that you don't have too much inventory at the end of the year. Right? Plan capacity. You want to be able to, if you have products coming out, you want to be able to produce them. And it take, there's a two-year lead time. All these things you can talk to. The audience will look at this and then listen to you. They're not going to be spending their time reading. Comparisons. This is a big thing. If you're comparing two things, take a look at this chart. It's not easy to compare things, right? I've got 
here's the employees. Well, how's company B? Well, its employees are way down here. I got to look at them. When was it founded? I look over here, and then I got to look over here, right? Locations, five locations, three locations. Revenue, well, this one has revenue. This one talks about net income. That's not good. This one has return on sales. This one shows return on equity. Now, what we want to do, we want to compare like things to like things. More like this. Side by side, founded, the company, the company is founded in these years, location, employees, revenue, return on sales. Right? It's easy to compare. Always, 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 if you can compare, put things side by side. All right. So when you compare, you want to have not too much information. Want to use simple things, yes or no, or X's to compare things. I've got a few comparisons here. Look at this, check marks. Okay. There's still some words that makes it a little harder to see. This is tougher because it's got a lot of data, but at least it's got the things side by side so I can compare. I'm going relatively quickly here, but I know you can pause the video. This kind of stuff is really good. You can tell which has more features than another. Now, when you present the talk, don't do like I am doing. Don't talk too quickly. Again, shoot for three minutes per slide. And don't read the slides. Oh, man, you don't want to read sentences and all that kind of stuff. Just talk to your audience. The slides are your audience. You know the material better than anybody else. Just talk to them. Talk to like your friends, talk like you're talking to your, to your parents. Use your slides as an outline to talk to. And don't forget to face your audience. Don't go looking at the slides and, and trying to use them as a crutch. Be able to talk to your audience. And fin finally, have fun when you give a talk. You know the topic better than anybody else. You've done the research. Have fun doing it. Oh, there's one other thing that I've seen people do that I really think is, is good. When they begin the talk, they engage the audience by asking a question. I saw somebody once was giving a talk and they were going to compare Burger King and McDonald's. And they asked the audience, how many of you prefer Burger King or your favorite hamburger place is Burger King or McDonald's or Wendy's or Arby's? Find out what the audience wants. It's a, it's a good way to get the audience engaged and get them thinking. And, and, and I encourage you to do that kind of thing too when you present. You don't necessarily have to have it on a slide, but I would present it uh, and ask to engage the audience from the beginning. All right, when you do your homework, uh, please do the slides this way. If you have additional information, you can always add notes at the bottom of the slide. If you look down here, it says click to add notes. So you can add notes down here. So if you want to add things to remind you, or more importantly, in this case, you want to tell me more about what, what you've learned and what you're doing, you can always put it down here in the notes. All right. Enjoy giving talks. Have fun with it.